Hello and uh, welcome everyone. So this is the basic uh, application where we will uh, get started with by saving SQLize and MySQL2. They are already in package.json. I'm just verifying that they are installed or not. So first step uh, is to install all of them. Uh, they might be a spelling mistake. Okay, so this is a, a basic application which we are creating. So you can see uh, we have the simple server.js. There are a lot of comments, let me remove it. So this is the baseline. And we will be building our application on top of this. So if you can see, it's running on port 8080. So it doesn't have anything. Uh, it is just a basic server application express I'm using. And we are listening on to the port 500. Uh, some port uh, which is like 8080. So now what we will do, we will add uh, the, we will try to add a SQL to this. And we will just play with that okay so what we need to do first uh, we need to first uh, do the connection right so let me create uh, one folder so we will do we will create uh, one model folder inside model folder let's have uh, the index.js where you will write our configuration so we already have a SQLize and MySQL2. So now the thing left is how to do the connectivity with uh, SQLize. So we already know that we are just going to create an instance of SQLize. Require FS so quickly just get all the required dependencies. Then we need to import SQLize. This will be a little bit slow, so let me just get it quickly done. So we got SQLize, and uh, let's have some environment variable also because for different environment we are going to have a different DB configuration. So this is the environment variable which we have. If there is no environment variable, then we will set it to development that's uh, let's speak make it small okay so now uh, when we do the connection then how we will how we'll do it so let's create a db this is the global object which i will export from here once i have everything okay and uh, so let's set the configuration So to store all the all the credentials, what I'm going to do is I can create one config folder inside that I can store all the user credentials like this. So here I already have. So for development, there is a user password. Similarly for test and production. So what I will do, I will import this config, which I'm importing from. So current path uh, so I need to import the current path also dir name and here I will concat this inside the config I have config.json and what I will do based on environment which I have received in the line number 3 I will get the config object okay then if you can see in the config object we have username password and dialect all the property so config dot uh, so here we are just checking the moment variable and based on that we are actually creating the sqlize instance SQLize instance equal to new SQLize 
and what we need to pass we need to pass all the configuration which we imported and our config path so based on the environment we will pass the configuration otherwise we will create it for development so this is if we have a configuration otherwise you do a credential hard code I mean we will get it from uh, config so pass the config dot database so same variable uh, names here need to be put database name username and config dot password okay so here we have created the basic db instance now what we will do that we will we will read this current directory model folder because uh, after the connection we will see how many model files we have so there we can write a code to to trace all these .js files using fs so we already have the fs let me import the path also because we are using it So what we need to register all the models to this DB instance. So we need to read all the files in the current directory and then we need to loop on to that and we need to import the SQLize and uh, import all the models. Okay, so this is the basic connection. We will write the, the rest of the code here only. Before that, let's create a model in the next video.